just thought I'd show you something that I've found fantastic over the last few weeks using Flipgrid in my class. I'm not going to go through the setup and all those type of things. Flipgrid have some amazing uh, videos that you can check out the setup. So just go to flipgrid.com uh, in there, get your account going, and you'll be able to make some pretty amazing little questions and grids from there. So I'm going to show you just a few things. So here's a here's a grid. So you can set up as many grids as you can. I've got the paid version, which is about 65 bucks a year. Uh, which is not too bad and you can have around 10 grids with responses so once you click on a grid you'll have different uh, questions as you can see that come through there and you can make them active and not active etc uh, we'll just have a look at this one i've been using them in the sense of uh, during flip lessons we're having hinge questions in there during flip lessons uh, just to see where students are at and they post the video response there um, other uh, have exit passes so when a student needs to leave class or with the, to get out of class their exit pass is responding to a question or we do something that's called the Friday stand-ups where students uh, every Friday post what am I doing where am I going how am I getting there and so we're gonna have a look at that one and um, see what that looks like from here and when you set it up so if you if I edit the grid so you obviously just add a grid if you edit the grid you can see we can change around with the hashtags. The hashtags are really important because that's what the students will use on their iPad uh, or their iPhone or on the web to access the stand-up, what the response is going to be. So you choose it, choose, once you've chosen your uh, hashtag, it's pretty straightforward. And so what the students will get is something like this. And then you obviously get a grid um, from all the questions uh, of the kids going through uh, their questions and their responses there. So basically once you have the response there, the kids just log on um, via their iPhone with the hashtag and they can actually respond to that. So we're going to have a look at that and I'm going to show you what that looks like uh, right now. So once you've set up the questions, so you obviously click on the questions, you're just adding your questions uh, via here and you can obviously make video questions. So you can create some video questions or you can have a text question you can make it active. You can sort of set them that they uh, open at certain different um, dates. So you can, what I'm doing with this is obviously going to curate a whole year's worth of questions on the students, pretty much like a little bit of a digital portfolio um, that students are going to have at the end of the year, all the different stages they've gone through uh, with their work. And they'll see that on one big grid and they can obviously respond to and look at each other's work and see where they're going. And so we get some collaborative discussion online with what their work is and uh, how they're going. Okay, here we are on my iPhone, and let's get into the Flipgrid. So straight in, uh, students will get this once they download the app, straight onto <clears throat> the hashtag, which is just Friday Stand Up. Straight in, question will come up straight away. I'm gonna add my response to show you what that looks like. Privacy information, we won't go through that there, you can do that. So a bit of a photo, just so I can identify who it is. Look pretty good in black and white. Once I've got that, we'll go straight to the video question. And then I love how the video question actually comes up directly there so we can actually um, remember it. So it's a really good little feature there. What am I doing? Where am I going? Hit record, punch that in, and then add my name, upload it, and I'm part of the grid. And so the students can get that really great tool for me to get feedback, to see where students are going. Uh, and certainly when I'm then they're looking at flip lessons, those little grids are, are great because it sort of informs me of what next in class. I get a sense of where they're going, uh, what needs to happen and where I can push their learning. So really great tool for hinge questions, exit passes, any type of uh, question where you can actually use it from the start of the year and then you could keep building on this grid as the students go through and they could track their learning. So it's a really good tool in that way as well. So I'll show you just a quick number example of some more detailed questions there. And so here's some video questions. Click on those and obviously the video will start playing um, of the question there. And so you can add, obviously add responses to that when you're going through. So that's what it looks like with a bit more detail, a bit more questions in there. But that combination of video and text questions, the, the key of having a curation across the year of questions via video of showing, students showing their work and their learning is a fantastic tool. It makes it sticky, it stays there, it doesn't go. The questions are always there and it helps me as a teacher to understand where they're at and how I can actually uh, help them in class. So great little tool, highly recommend, have some fun with it 
and play with it with your students.